are some difficult times that cause you to feel like I need to pick up a cigarette? Who would share? What are some difficult times? These are just examples, crisis, divorce, etc. What are some personal experiences that you may have had that you can think back and say, yeah, I had this experience and that caused me to relapse, that caused me to pick up the cigarette, that caused me to pick up a vapor. What were some, who would like to share? Work-related, we have family, we have stress in general, we have children. All of these things cause us to go back to the habit of picking up a cigarette or a vape as our means of what? Coping. Coping. But I want to ask you the question, based on what we've been learning these past two days, based on what we've been learning these past two days, can you afford to wait before setting that quitting date? Can you, based on what we've been learning, based on your own body, knowing your own self, the changes that are happening inside of you? Even though this is real, all of those certain things that's gonna happen, they're real. Life is real, but based on what's happening in our own body, we cannot afford to set off or set back quitting dates. Now, setting a date. Set a quit date. Based on the information that I collected for this presentation, this is their recommended date, right? They said, select the stop date between three weeks or four weeks from this last seminar day. But if you believe you can do a quicker date than that, go right ahead. But the reason why they said that is because it sets, that by setting a date within that three, four week period window, it gives you enough time to prepare properly while creating a helpful sense of urgency. So in other words, you don't want to say, well, I'll set it two, two months from now. You might it might not, it won't make an urgency for you. And saying, well, I'm gonna do it right now, might not be practical because you might not be prepared for that change. So a reasonable about amount of time is necessary to make a decision. So you need time to prepare. And carefully creating a helpful sense of urgency, you need a relatively decent amount of time be between the moment you make the decision to go ahead and the time you last learned or that support you had. There is no perfect day to stop. Having a stop date and committing to it is what is important. Pick a date that is right for you. And find a time, finding a time to quit isn't easy. Any time can be, but listen to this, any time could be good to quit when you are ready to try. Any time can be good to quit when you are ready to try. Now, when coming up with a quit date, it's important to consider your patterns. Think about your smoking pattern. Are you a smoker who mostly smokes when you're at work, at home, out and about in a social situation, when you are alone? We talked about some of these yesterday. After you eat in a car, 
to help with stress? What important patterns do you need to plan for when you choose a quit date? Given your pattern now, what should you consider when setting your date? Should you consider a date that has a low, relatively a low stress day? A day you can keep your mind and hand occupied? A weekend day or a weekday? A day you are away from your normal routines? A day you can spend with family and friends that are, can support you? in that choice? What kind of day do you think will give you the best chance for success? So it's not just, I'm gonna quit today, <coughs> boom. You gotta, you gotta set yourself up to succeed when you make that decision. Set yourself up to succeed. Now, I'm gonna challenge my sisters here today on your own piece of paper, where no one else can see, I want you to choose in your mind, when, in your mind, I, I'm not even gonna put no extra words in there, a stop date that you could consider. What, if you can consider a stop date, what date would that be? Go ahead and write it in your book. Think about it, pray about it, and go ahead and put something in your book. Were you able to print out the commitment agreement, Pastor? No, no. Okay, we're going to print that out for tomorrow, okay? So I'll skip the next slide. You can, I, I love that. Take out a calendar if you need a calendar to check on, like, what, what, what is realistic for me? Well, I'm texting my mom to see when my dad's birthday was, because it's in March. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to personalize that by quitting on his birthday, because he's passed. And so I think that would be a good, nice thing. Thank you for like sharing that, that Jennifer. That's, that's, that's awesome. That's good. Yeah. And he smoked, <laughs> and he, I think he died prematurely from the smoke and the drink, and mm. he was also in the military, so he was in his 50s when he passed, and I really think that if he made different choices, he could have possibly prolonged his life mm. a little bit longer, mm -hmm. and maybe not have gotten colon cancer. Mm. So in memorial of him. You're making a date. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. That's awesome. And that's something I want to mention as well. A date should be special to you. It shouldn't be a date because Miss Brown just said put a date there. It should have a significant meaning for you. So that it will help that will help to motivate you to wanting to commit to it. Because when you have that motivation inside of you, that's what's gonna make the difference, the trying and the persevering. I wanna do this because this, this, this. And I always say pray about it. Let God make it possible. Now I'm gonna skip that because we don't have that. Now the second letter in start, the second acronym in let us start is T, which stands for tell your support team. Tell your support team. Why is this important? Because people, it's easier to help you when people know how to help you. So what are you telling your support team? You can be asking everyone to understand if you have a change in mood, assure them that it won't last long. Because uh, what are some mood changes you have when you haven't had your puff or your vape or your cigarette at that moment? How? What are some moods that you, you show or reflect? Well, the sleeping is terrible. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, 
about agitate? Anybody's agitated when you yeah. get oh, just say yeah. that? Yeah, agitated. Yeah. Anybody, any anger? Yep. Mm -hmm. So let them know. I'm going to be going through some changes in my mood because I want to quit. If you notice me a little agitated, if you notice me a little angry, if you notice me a little sleepy, that could be a result of the changes my body's going through. And then reassure them, but I still love you. And once I get through this experience, you're going to have a better me back. Ask smokers who are close to you to quit with you. Now, it's going to be hard because some of them might look at you and say, ah, that's your choice, not my choice. But just ask. You don't know. You might be surprised what someone's thinking. Maybe they were waiting for a moment like that. A vapor, someone that vapes. Not only do you ask, but ask them also to at least not do it around you. And we talked about respect yesterday, that they would respect that boundary. I'm trying, so please, don't do that around you. Tell yourself and others, the longer I go without cigarettes, the sooner I'll feel better. Constant mantra to yourself. This is just for time. This is only for season. I'm going to get better. Remember this, the, the, the video we watched? How your receptors after a while will begin to heal and repair itself. But the longer you go without nicotine, likewise. Tell yourself and others the worst withdrawal symptoms from smoking. Irritability, um, irritability, ooh, my tongue. And trouble sleeping, someone just mentioned it, right, Jennifer? May be over within two weeks. So those withdrawal sy um, symptoms, they will pass. They will not last forever. Now, in your notebooks, I'm going to ask you to list family, friends, and co-worker that you think would be important for you to tell as you're supporting your plans that you're going to quit smoking. Who would those people be? And then we'll share after. would be first to share. I see that big smile on <laughs> Jennifer's face. So I was just laughing because I would probably tell my pets too, even though they're not really going to understand. <laughs> but, um, you know, it still is a relationship mm -hmm. you have with your animals. And, um, you know, they deserve the right to know too. Um, I love it. Uh, I put down my mom, my mother, my sister. Obviously, she knows, and we can actually be supportive and hold each other accountable. Um, my daughter's father, Saul, my kids, and my therapist, Kathy, awesome. at the doctor, so that way she can write it down and tell the doctor that I'm quitting or trying to. Awesome. And I think all those people will be happy to uh, hear that. I think so, too. I think so too, I believe so. When we tell those people closest to us, the support can be even better. And they will be accountability partners as well. Yeah. Oh, Sister Lorraine? Yeah. I'm gonna tell my husband, my co-worker, my children, and my therapist. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I was just sitting, standing here, not sitting, standing here, and I thought to myself, what are some drawbacks that we get when we think about, I'm going to tell this person. What are some fears? Remember we talked about love cast out fear, but do you have fear when you think about telling these people that you want to quit? Okay. What are some 
What about you? I wouldn't say I have fears, but I will say that there could be some mixed uh, feelings or thoughts about it coming from their end, whether or not they have um, confidence in my ability to succeed with it, or their opinions are not any of my business, but, um, you know, there are some questions. That's what I, I was I was thinking to myself. You're not gonna believe me. <laughs> I'm thinking. Why you why do you say that? They're not gonna believe me. Why 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 do you say that so confidently, by the way? Because I've tried it before and I didn't succeed. So they're not gonna believe me. I believe that's why I was felt like saying that. Because oftentimes the individuals who are you're sharing these two They've heard you share before when you started the journey at another time. But does that stop you from sharing? No, but I'm not going to tell them. <laughs> I'm just going to do it. You know? I mean, sometimes it is better to do it. I'll wait till I've succeeded. <laughs> I'll, wait, you know, I'll wait till they know this. You, you, know, you don't know. I'm not going to tell them. Because then the enemy might step in and try to meddle. Hmm. I'm not going to tell them. <laughs> I guess it's a I'll let them choice. see for themselves. Who do you want to tell know. if you choose to tell anybody? Well, uh, Lorraine, you can tell me. Hey, you, oh, wow. you already know you're here. There you go. <laughs> but listen, but listen. You can you, you feel me call or text. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, you can tell me and my wife. Mm -hmm. I love that, Lorraine, because it is so important to have someone to confide in. Mm -hmm. This is a big choice you're making. Mm -hmm. Even if you fell before, to make mm -hmm. that decision all over again is a huge step. Mm -hmm. And and it's remember we, we were talking about, I don't know if we said it before, but rewards and celebration. Mm -hmm. We want someone to be there to celebrate. Imagine mm -hmm. if you went through college, and at the end of the day when you were walking down the aisle, not one person was there. Mm -hmm. This is a time to celebrate, even to make the decision, I want to quit, I want to try to quit again. And, and yes, I know, I recognize, you might say, well, these people might not be confident because they saw my past. Mm -hmm. But does that limit you to knowing that you can succeed in no, the future? No, I'm going to try. I'm going to give it a strong try. There you go. Mm -hmm. And so I love that, Pastor, having that communication. Mm -hmm. Talk to him because you're gonna need someone yep. to bounce with this, with you and through this. Then I realized also when I did try, I didn't include God. Mm. You know, so this time I'm gonna include God. Yeah. I'm gonna invite Him to help me. Yeah. Amen. 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 I love that. Amen. That is what, again, human effort with divine power, right. and you'll be able to do it. And the, pa and the pastor, I think, 